Good morning, people, and welcome to Stinky's Art Class, where we have the best students in the world. Today's lesson is how to paint an alligator. First thing you want to go ahead and do is draw this alligator's mouth. He's got a big mouth. Is that big enough? How about a little bit bigger? Okay. Once you got the mouth drawn, painted, whatever you want to call it, you want to get those eyeballs in. And his eyeballs looks like that. And I know it's not looking like an alligator without teeth. So let's go ahead and add those in. Look at that. I'm already feeling that. That is looking like some serious alligator teeth. Okay. Next thing you want to do, you got the eyeballs, you got the teeth, then you got to draw the body. Okay? The body's not that easy. Okay? You got to do the body like this. See how I'm doing that? Running out of paint, but it's okay. Stinky, stinky going to survive. Got to draw the feet. Um, draw the other feet. You got to draw his tail. You may be wondering, hey, Stinky, what are you doing? Well, I'll tell you what I'm doing. I'm creating art. You may be thinking this looking like a weird looking alligator, but you you got to understand Stinky's got a, a mind for this stuff. You got to have a mind for it. You got to have a vision. Okay? Then you'll be realizing what Stinky's really doing. Okay, now you see it's starting to come come together. You're like, oh yeah, I see what you're doing, Stinky. If you want to be uh, if you want to be in the museums, you got to be different. Okay, they don't just let any artist in those museums. You got to you got to prove it. You got to you got to be a legend. You got to have respect. And that's what you learn in Stinky's art class. You learn how to be a legend. You learn how to have re get respect. And uh you're going to become the greatest artist out there. Whoops. There. See, little details like that's going to help you. Okay. Don't forget about these scales on this guy. Yep. Okay. What do you think, class? Is it time for some paint? What do we want to paint this monster? We want to paint this monster uh, green? What do you think, class? I think we should try it. Oh, yeah. This is looking great. I think he's trying a new paintbrush today.
That's the beauty of painting on cardboard. You don't have to worry about buying them expensive canvases. I know you art students in college and, you know, professional artists. You always be having to use the, the real deal. Well, guess what? You could learn a thing or two from Stinky. Stinky gets to use whatever canvas he wants. That's what freedom is. You know, and this is a, going to be a long lesson because this, these alligators got lots of details. Got lots of details. Paint these guys, especially with these tiny little brushes. But Stinky don't like to get all the paint on it. Stinky likes to. I think he likes to make his own art style. What do you think, class? Looking like a pretty good little monster, isn't he? One thing I'm just not feeling is I think we need some gray in here. What do you think? Looking pretty good with that gray? I think so. Maybe even put a little bit of black in there. Now we're getting somewhere. Looking like a monster. Okay, let's figure out these eyes. I'm thinking, I'm thinking those look pretty good. Let's see if we can get into this white. Okay, I can tell this alligator is not looking sleepy. He's wide awake looking for a meal. Hmm. Now I'm kind of missing something here. Missing something. Hmm. Stinky lost the paintbrush. Oh, Stinky found it. Being organized with your paint supplies, your art supplies, is a pretty tough job, isn't it, class? This is some real work. That's real work we're doing here. Okay, think he's going to go back in, finish it up. Think he wants to finish this one up. Ready to move along. It's gonna be a good one. But these good, these lessons take a while. But if you wanna be the greatest ever, you gotta put in the work. Think he needs to give an update about how he's doing on his paintings and drawings. Isn't it nice to have a friend you can do your artwork with? Do we all have a friend that can help us with our art? Well, I want everybody to try to do 
you yeah, know, you might feel vulnerable trying to find a friend to do art with you, but go ahead, try it. If you don't have a friend who's doing art with you, give it a shot. Invite someone to come do some art with you. You never know. It might be the best thing you ever did. Okay, class, it's getting pretty epic. So, what I want to say is, if you're not a student in my class, this is your first video watching, you need to join my art class. You won't regret it. Okay? Hope you enjoyed this lesson. It's pretty epic. I would say pretty epic. Okay, thanks for everyone joining the class, and we'll stay tuned for another epic lesson. Class dismissed.